then then you know you're going to always be where you're at right so it's always about how can you move things forward how can you accomplish result um and and know that it's possible right because i i get the you know this is the way it's always been or it's this type of world or you got to know this person and i would tell you that knowing the right people is important of value right so like if you've got a bad attitude poor work ethic i don't care who you know nobody's going to want to work with you right yeah. Um, yeah. You know, that's in, that's work, in every industry. That's not just in life. Like everywhere. Yeah, life. Yep, yeah. Exactly. And so I'm like, you know, people are always chomping at the bit to work with good people in business. And I think the same thing goes with artists. It's it's the ones that I feel like, you know, F everybody and I'm just going to do this, but I want to connect. Like, well, you know, there's a process to connect. And, you know, the, it's always about the fans. And, you know, when we're doing lineup changes or, you know, we've got, um, you know, different people on different projects right now with, with me, um, people receive it well. They want to hear music, right? The fans want to hear these bands. They want to hear the music. Um, and they may, you know, there may be somebody that's bothered by the drummer, somebody different, or, you know, the singer was, it was, is somebody else singing main and you know, like, there's always going to be something, but then there's people who are like, man, give it to me. I love it. Right. Yeah. And I can remember um, Chester before he passed, I can remember his last album he dropped. Right. And he was really moving the direction of what he wanted to do. And I can remember listening to the tracks. I'm like, I love it. It's, it's a little bit different from, from what they had started out doing, but I appreciate it for what it was. I didn't compare it to anything. And so, um, you know, it, some people receive that well and some people don't like nobody wants to be compared to somebody else. No, you know, right. Nobody wants to be compared to the ex-boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't want to be compared to the ex-girlfriend or ex-spouse. <laughs> right. right. I mean, nobody wants it. Right. Um, right. Yeah. That's like, that's so just listen to the new stuff, appreciate the new stuff, the new show, the new lineup, um, you know, and live life's moments. Have fun. I think people get mad when bands change up their uh, sound. They're not used to it. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, you know, like, Deftones, they're the epitome. I was reading something the other day, and these guys were like, they never even set out for a genre, right? They just wanted to just kill it, slay, make music. That they just Chino and everybody just want to make music. Period. You know, you come, you come. If you don't, you don't. Um, it's all cool. It's all good. And I was like, man, what a great, what a great outlook, right? Don't even classify my genre. Um, we don't want to be put in a hole. And so I would tell you, I think a lot of artists now we're, you know, Rev is experimenting with some remixes. So we drop a remix on, on the 23rd of this month. Um, Plastic Cinema is the name of the project. And we will be coming out with remixes in a different genre um, from, from Plastic Cinema from producer Maddie. So we're, you know, these are, these are things that are important. Like, you know, we all want to do different things in life. So you're going to keep something to the core and then you're going to have other things. You're going to evolve. Um, but Plastic yeah. Cinema will drop their first track. It's going to be a Make Me a Drink remix of a different genre. And that drops on the 23rd as well this month. Well, quick question for you, Dean, before before we wrap this all up. Uh, one of the things that that you probably get a lot of times is when does a a band necessarily um, need to put together a team? What point would that be? Uh, I always tell them, I said, you're the only one that can answer that. But if you, it could be from day one or it could be after the first EP or the second EP, um, I always tell them just put together a good man, a good team. And you'll probably start, you'll propel a lot faster versus trying to do it all on your own. Yeah, man. I think uh, that's great advice, Sam. I, I would tell you, I, I believe the same. Um, you know, you don't have to get to a certain point before, you know, some folks, they don't, they don't need a manager, right? What they need is somebody to maybe help them with distribution or help them. And I, and I, and I've worked with people on releasing a song, right? And we come up, we have the marketing plan, the playlist pitching. Um, we're going to get a press release done, but you're not going to, you don't want to tour. You've got day jobs. You don't plan on going anywhere. You're not really doing anything. You, you just want to be known, recognized, play music. Maybe you want to play festivals, but that's it. That, that's your aspiration and that's okay. Um, so you don't need a manager. You, just, you need somebody to help assist you with that. 
But to your point, Sam, is that's great advice. And just always be looking to to grow and to surround yourself with the right people that align with what you're doing and where you're going that believe in you um, that can help, you know, accelerate that growth. And and that comes at different times for different people. And I'm sure that- like you, I get hit up with stuff and, you know, somebody's ready. And I'm like, you know, there's no social engagement. There's no following. There's no, there's no anything. They hadn't done any touring. They don't have a booking agent. And, and I'm, I'm like, ready for what? Yeah, you know, exactly. You're going to have to start. I mean, you're going to have to start like, like my recommendation. And I'll tell them, you know, I'll share some information. Like, hey, here's where I would start, right? You don't need a manager. You don't need to hire somebody on retainer. You just need to start here. And, you know, folks will hit me up on stuff and I'm always accessible um, and I'll respond. And then, you know, yeah. the one thing probably like you that just always I'm like, uh, don't just openly send me a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> at least and say I hi first. I don't know you. Just right? say like, hi first at least. And say, say hi. Hey. Did you have a hey. good weekend yep. before you send me the new EP press kit and a bunch of video links and <laughs> how much you want to work together? Right. Just, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, well, at I, least it, ask me, Hey, I'm in this project. I'm well, love that. I, I, I send you this stuff. And I of course, that. both yeah. you and I always say yes. And then afterwards, yes. after we listen to it, we, that's when we'll tell them, Hey, it's not for me or oh, let's talk. Yeah. Where you guys yeah somebody hits you up and you add them as a friend. All of a sudden you get the do, 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 yeah. do, and, uh, yeah. and then it's, let me know what you think. And I'm yeah, like, I, don't, so, I don't, I don't know you. Yeah. <laughs> I, a podcaster and not a band manager i get that a lot also people send yeah. me their songs all the time hey what do you think is it good for your show what do you think i'm like uh send it over to sam <laughs> now he does this here send it sam. to sam <laughs> you have the here's same sam's reaction email. i do then yeah here's sam's email address send it to him. He, he does all the yeah. bookings now <laughs> instead what sebastian does is he ends up sending dick pics that's his biggest thing he returns he returns oh. with like a little shrimp dick pic just, to, just in case. remind you you should probably say hi first yeah because yeah, that doesn't always happen either right like you know people just you know there should be like a greeting right hello like something i guess some of those just weird hellos i'm like hi Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. What, what, what do you want? What, 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 what are you messaging me for? Yeah, they get a little hand wave. I, they're just being nice, I guess. It's nice. No, they're, they're trying to engage conversation. I get about average about five a day. Three of them will be legit. Two will probably be, you know, some female. Have you guys in, been getting hit up by the Bitcoin folks lately? Oh, yeah. My God. Yes. yeah. What is the deal with the ads? They, they It's Dude, not it's even right. who, you, who you think, and it's like no. – they have no profile. It's like if, yeah. if, they, if they sell me Bitcoin or just marijuana, I am not adding them as a friend because it's probably a, fa- a weird fake profile, man. I mean, I don't know. It is weird. I do want to say though, uh, I did go to the DNSagency.com and uh, need the website. Could use a little work, but you're getting there. <laughs> well, no you know, on. you know what's interesting <laughs> is I kept it that way, and originally when I started, I modeled it off a of CAA. And at the time, and I'm because I, I do need to revamp it. But at the time, like CAA, right? So yeah, you had to go into agent, touring. You had to you, go into you, touring. You had to, to know somebody, but all it listed was its office and a phone number. Yeah. So but the logo is super cool. What's your that? logo? Your logo is really awesome, Thank man. Thank you. Yeah. So was, I, I actually kind of looked at some other people, and at the time, William Morris was kind of the same way, and I kind of modeled that. They they've evolved. I haven't on that side. Um, <laughs> It's and it's so, horrible upkeep, Dean. So you know what? Keep it the way you want to keep it, because I you now really have don't need one. You really don't even need a website, honestly. For what I, you're doing. I, I, I just added page is what it is. It's yeah, I just, I just added a band today uh, because we already started getting offers in, and they shoved me on it. So I'm like, okay, I guess we got to announce you today then. Um, and then I still have to add add him uh, up here to the page as well. Cause I really do manage him and now I'm partners with him with, with yeah. the podcast. So, yeah. um, and so yeah, it's, it may, just keep it the way you keep it. Just have, <laughs> don't even worry about it. Don't even, don't listen to him. Don't listen. Well, to him. well I would, it's been on my mind. It's, it's been on my mind prior to pandemic 
and I've had some people at high levels that I that I'm associated with mention to me, you know, like, hey, you should update that. Um, but I also tell you, I find more stuff outdated by people. Oh my god, there's links a lot. that don't work, like stuff that's old. The the bio doesn't; the, those people are gone. They changed, <laughs> and I'm like. Mine's a landing page. Right? Okay, that, that listen. The intent. I'm going to relate to that real quick. Okay, I do got to say this. Before a band comes on, and even you, right, I will go to their website <laughs> and look up their stuff. Now, if their website hasn't been updated uh, since COVID started, there's probably a lot of changes. Like one band, I said, oh, so your album drops March, or your EP drops March 21st, right? Like, yeah, 2019, or right? I was like, well, if your website just says March 21st, it doesn't say, I just assumed it was 2021, because it was right. like a week before. So, yeah, please, people, if you're in a band, COVID is like pretty much over almost. Go update your websites and your tours and your who's in your band, because when you get interviewed by people like me, we don't know these things. We go to your page to research you, and then we sound like idiots. Like we don't know what we're talking about. Well, one thing I would just throw out there that <laughs> I do know, like I'm working right now, like it took us, um, like Rev Theory they didn't have their YouTube channel for six years um, from Interscope. So I, I managed to get that back a couple years ago for them. And like the Twitter took me a year because it was tied to a phone that was no longer in existence. Yeah. And, you know, so just an FYI to people that are out there, like, you know, to your point, Sebastian, have stuff current. But I do know that there's like hiccups out there with, you know, even folks that have, you know, done gold or platinum records that just they don't have access or, you know, like that's why it may not be updated. But if you have the ability to have it updated, keep it current. For yeah, sure. Absolutely. OK, well, I guess that pretty much about wraps it up. If you want to contact Dean, I mean, you're on Facebook and you're, you're, you're on your website. You do have your. I would assume your contact email on there. Contact email is there. It goes straight to me. It hit me up on Facebook. I have the DNS agency page. It's got, you know, five or 6,000 people, you know, just like everybody else. It doesn't get a lot of activity. The personal stuff always gets the activity. Um, Twitter, sure. Instagram. Yeah, Facebook. He's That's probably Messenger is the best way to contact him. He'll respond to you. Yeah, and if you're in a band and you're on my Facebook page, make sure you contact Dean. He may manage you guys also. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. And contact Sam who do all your booking. He, he no, no, absolutely. <laughs> that's hey. awesome. No, that's it's not, not a show. All right, okay. I got, I got four <laughs> tours, four tours, three releases. This podcast, <laughs> truck driving all day long. I don't need any more on my plate. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> oh, I'm just having fun. Okay. Everyone, please go to uh, www.thelawspot.net. Go check out our YouTube channel, and please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe on Facebook. Uh, click that. There's like a little bell or notification when we go live. Click on that to get notified every time we're on. And we're still on Apple, on Spotify. Dean, thank you so much for being on the podcast. You're welcome, guys. Really, I appreciate really you guys appreciate it. It. Absolutely. Right. And, and shout out to Ghost Town and Belly, and I do I, I love those guys. I know them. They've been on the show a couple times. So and yeah. all the fans that you represent, for that matter. All right, guys. I think we're done. Okay. But so this is the loud spot outro by nothing short of tragic. Is this all talk with no action? No. Is this my thoughts with distraction? No. Is this what I bought that's in fashion? Or is this the loud spot with Sebastian? Yes. The nothing short of tragic happens back again. Yes. Does everything that good really have to end? Yes. A Show, so to get more episodes, make an order, this is over.